Warning. Warning. UFO detected. Hey everybody, welcome, it's me, GW365, and this is, as you've just seen, uh, XCOM UFO um, Defense. It actually says Enemy Unknown, but it's UFO Defense, uh, purchased from the Steam library. Uh, I think it was it was uh, like 75% off or something, I don't know, £1.50 or something. Dirt cheap. Uh, I had a quick go on this. Uh, just get me yellow icon, there we go. The mouse seems a bit weird when you move it, it, it just doesn't seem right. But yes, we're going to yeah. attempt a, a new Let's Play. Um, we're calling this on Christmas Eve, but I was intending to... I'll set it going, uh, to uploading on Christmas Day. It's like my Christmas present to the four subscribers that I have. Hopefully there'll be more, but I doubt it anytime soon. Um, so yes, so we're going to go for a new game. Because, as you can see here, it's a test run. I uh, tried it a couple of days ago. So we'll cancel that. And we'll go to a new game. Uh, I'm not really experienced or anything like, but um, ideally I need to be on beginner. But I'm going to put it on experience just to make it a little bit trickier so I can fail a hell of a lot more. Right, you can use these to move, which I, I didn't know. I ended up, just, ended up randomly placing in the side of Africa because I didn't know what was happening. So, we're in the United Kingdom, so we're going to go right about where I'm from. But the name of this is going to be the GDI Initiative. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right, but if I haven't, then oh well. GDI Initiative. There we go. So straight away, we're going to have to go into our base. We've got four, a cool four point one five oh 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 dollars. Million do uh, dollars, about four, just over four million dollars. Um, straight away, we're gonna go to go into his research, new project. Straight away, we're gonna go for laser weapons. Start project. Put all our scientists that we have, which is only ten at this moment in time, and they'll be working on that. Then we're going to go to uh, purchase recruits. We're gonna get some soldiers, so we're gonna get another ten soldiers, four hundred grand. Uh, I'm going to get some more scientists to make it a million. Engineers are really need any at this point in time? Probably. Oh, no more living space, so no, I can't. Not to worry though, we don't really need them at this moment in time. Um, so yeah, this is an old game, it's from 1993 I believe. And uh, I just thought I'd a, I'd a look just to see, because uh, obviously the, the the new XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Enemy, enemy Within and all that lot. I just had a look just to see, well I was pricing up, I just saw this for £1.50 so I thought, oh I'm having that, it's going to be worth it. Uh, so I'll see, see how it fares because I assume this is the one that started it all off. So what we're going to do next is, we're going to build facilities. Uh, we're going to build another living quarters. I mean, maybe I should move some stuff around but uh, for the time being I, I'm happy with the layout. So we'll go for living quarters there. Uh, we need a large radar system that can go there. Uh, missile defense. Uh, we've got to build next to an existing, existing um, building or whatever. Put you there. Missile defense there, and we'll go for an alien containment because it's qu relatively cheap. You can go over there. Right, so that's not too bad. Um, for that now, I think I've got what have I got here? I've got workshop in there, I've got laboratory, living quarters, general stores. I can actually get another general stores for reasonably cheap. I'll leave us a million uh no, 
Yeah, it's gotta be finished. Um get more stars. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it there. Um and that'll allow us to hold more uh, weapons and such. So we've got one million left, which should be more than enough. Uh, we have got some troops coming, but we'll go to our soldiers. And at th this moment in time, we've got eight. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to rename them. Can we guess what the, f what the first one's going to be called? We have bravery of sixty. It's six sixty. Uh, bravery of sixty. This is going to be General Shepherd. Yeah, General Shepherd. Get in. Right. So that's one. Then we'll move to the next one. Bravery of 50. I, mean, I think it's a girl. With Yoko. I'm assuming Yoko. Like Yoko Uno, whatever she's called. Who was married to John Lennon. Um, I'm going to call this one... Col Colonel... Morelli. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Uh, next one. Low bravery. So this can just be your standard. In fact, on a 20, it's a little bit better than 10. Uh, what can we call this? We'll call this the Grenadier. Yeah, Grenadier. Oh, I don't need exclamation marks. What am I doing? Right. Jax Psycho, whatever it's called. 40? That's not bad at all. So you're going to be quite high up, I reckon. So I think that you could be... Hmm... Hmm. You could be. I don't know, you could be Orca. Orca's a pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, we'll move across, and we've got Igor Shalimov. Fifty. They, all these soldiers are brave. I mean, I'm a test one. They all are tens and twenties. I think the best one was thirty. So now we've got fifty. So this can be Carter. Uh, I don't know. What are you now? What major? You want a major, what are you? I can't remember. Hmm. Let's call him Carter. It'll do. Right. So Carter. I think I didn't actually put general last time. But anyway. Next one. Here we go. There we go. Ten. So this is obviously going to be mini gunner. The first unit you get. And twenty. This can be a... Nod buggy. Yeah. Nod buggy. Sarah Sharp, it's a female. I don't think there's any other female characters though. And quite brave as well, actually. 40. Well, this can be. Yeah, let's have a think. 40 brave, it's gonna be reasonably high. You can be a uh hmm. You could be harvester because harvesters always feel brave and go and, and harvest. Tiberium on the Command and Conquer series in the enemy's bases, so yeah, that'll do. Could be a female driver, although that's kind of probably a bad idea. Sorry, girls. <laughs> I've got no co no armor to give them, so they're all uh, pretty much um, well cannon fodder at this point. So we've got crew. We've got eight rookers in there, so we'll go ahead and go to the Geoscape, which is the big like pixelated map and we'll go ahead and progress a couple of hours see if anything happens right we found a UFO so we can center center on the UFO and it's right nearby so left click nope not left click right click nope oh it's that that's right yeah interceptor GDI initiative select destination target UFO 1 so away they go. Five minute, please. Catch up. Yeah. Do 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 do. Aggressive firing, please. Annihilate. Boom. Out running. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Attack it, please. I don't want the UFO. Oh, here we are. I know. Still learning. We'll just carry on a bit more. Maybe we'll catch up with it again. Is it? Very close. No. No. Just chase it away from our base. Return to base. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. Don't need to go to five seconds for that. So hopefully... Oh, I found another. Where's that? Is that the same one? Is that a UFO? It is. So what we'll do is... Uh, hmm. Let's get our Sky Ranger and let's go on a mission early doors. Yes. Let's get over there. Tracking lost. Oh no, it's disappeared. I go to last known UFO position. So hopefully we'll still find it. Oh, I found it. Is it in the same place? It's in a similar place, but I don't think I'm going to catch that. Ah, okay. Uh, select new target. That's it. Let's see if I can catch it. It's only the Sky Ranger, so it's, so it's a bit slow. But, who knows? I might catch up. Probably a bad idea, this. Aggressive attack. I don't even think I've got any weapons. I don't think I have. <laughs> Three. How, how do you get out of here? He's out running us now, that's good. <laughs> Not entirely sure. I didn't realise the Sky Ranger didn't have any uh, um, return to base because uh, you've got no weapons. I didn't realise. So, carry on. Maybe we aren't going to get a base mission after all. Uh, oh, he's landed. Uh, let's send an interceptor over here. Yeah, why not? That's where he looked like he landed. No. Looks like he's disappeared. Where are my troops? Okay, return to base. Don't know why I put it in five seconds. Let's go back round to uh, our area. And finally, we've got all the scientists and our troops. So, we will okay it. And now we've got some more troops to name. Have we? Uh, bases. Let's go to soldiers. We have quite a few. So we'll go ahead and try naming some more. 50. We'll call this guy Seth. As in, Nod's right hand man. And who we got next? 30. Calvin Nash. He is going to become, with a bravery of 30, um, hmm. Light tank. Why not? Oscar Bradley, sixty bravery. Of course, of course, can be called Kane. We got to Kane to Seth, as Seth actually said. Leonid Maliev, twenty bravery. Not very high. You can be recon bike. Yeah. And then James Martin. I'm pretty sure that's a chef in this country. Um, don't think he'll have been kicking about. Uh, before this game came out. Well, you're probably alive, but you weren't famous or anything. 40 bravery, it's quite high. So you can be the medium tank. Bravery for days on this one. 20 bravery, that's more like it. You can be Humvee. Because Humvees, as we all know, are pretty damn terrible. Andrea Parker, 60 bravery. Strength 24, not very strong at all. Um, now then. 60 bravery. Hmm. You can be the driver of a mammoth tank. Tank. Yes, mammoth tank. 60. Kenji Sato. My timer is actually going off, so I'll just name these soldiers and then we'll call that a video. Uh, what can we call this one? 40. 40. Um. Hold on a minute. Excuse me. So, 40 bravery. What can we think of 40? Um, I, I, wanted, to, I wanted a 50 for a uh, flame tank. It's called a stealth tank because uh, they're not very heavily armoured and strength isn't very high. Um, oops, not stealth. Stealth tank. There we go. 
So let's go across. Ma Matthias Richter. See you at the party, Richter! Awesome. Michael Ironside. And here we go. 50. This is indeed going to be Flame Tank. Could be two things as well. Because uh, he's actually the character on the. When I'm saying that, I've got Flame Tank. I could actually call him Flame Tank all one word. Uh, for the other one, which is currently on Starbound. So, yeah. Fire and Accuracy is 60. It should be 100 if it's Flames. But anyway. Andre Andre Zanovich. Sorry if I can't pronounce his names right. 30 bravery, this can be a PC. Yeah. General Shepard, so we've named all our soldiers. That's everyone. And we can actually um, equip the craft uh, with some more soldiers. Just wang all these guys in. Mammoth tank can't make it this time. Probably for the best. Don't want to annihilate all the aliens too soon. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode of uh, XCOM. Enemy Unknown, the original one. Um, as always, thanks for watching, if you have. Um, and uh, if you are feeling generous at this time of year, it is Christmas after all, please give a like, and if you feel like it, subscribe to see uh, any future videos I put up. So, hopefully until next time, I'll see you then. And until then, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.